Somewhere along the way, as we work hard to build a successful business, as we work hard to get ahead, as we study hard in school, as we become lost in that overwhelming drive to create something magical in our lives, as we try to fill the emptiness in our hearts with work, we forget why we are doing it all. Why do we work? Why do we create? Why do we put ourselves out there? What is that burning need inside us that drives us to sacrifice everything? What is it that pushes us to work with so much focus and persistence that we forget ourselves, our health, our well-being? Pushing so hard that we end up sabotaging our cherished relationships, that we end up missing our child's first day at school, that we willingly give up time with loved ones. We are doing it all. We are building, creating, working hard for love. When I say love, I don't mean romantic, steamy, or sexual love. I mean pure love. Love that you might have for a spectacular piece of artwork. Love that you might have for travel and for new adventures. Love that you might have for the quiet beauty of a snowfall. This is the love that creates, the love that inspires, that love that we are doing it all for. It's fascinating to see what happens when you introduce love to your work, your creation. When you let love in to everything you do, everything you do seems to be created with a little more magic. When you let love into your work, your work is better. When you let love into your business, your clients show up for you, back you, support you, cheer you on. When you let love in, you have endless courage creativity, clarity, and drive. Love is behind it all. Love brings out the best in you. It brings out the best in your people. Love brings out the best in your work, in everything you do. Apple, the electronics company, decided to love their clients above all else. They would have store managers, not just assistants, called customers who needed help and spent as much time as necessary on the phone to make things right. This is an expensive thing to do, but Apple found that each hour their managers spent on the phone, an additional $1,000 in sales would be generated. Loving your customers isn't just a good idea, it's smart business. Love works, loving each other works. Loving your team works, loving your clients works. Sometimes it feels like the bad guys win. I know it feels like the world tells you you need to be a hard-nosed, slimy asshole entrepreneur to get to the top. But that's not true. Sooner or later, the bad guys lose. In the end, love always wins. Always. Love is why we do what we do. You're not doing it for the money. Ask yourself why you want the money. So you can buy that big house? Why do you want that house or the car or the recognition? because you believe at some level you'll be happier when you get them. You believe you will get more love when you get them. But the truth is, you can lead with love now. So remember your why. Why do you want to win? Why do you want to win? What is it that really matters to you? You might have heard of this old saying, it's not personal, it's business. Wrong. Business is personal. It always has been. There is no other way we could keep doing what we do. There's no other reason to wake up every day and run your business or your life, your relationships, everything. Let love in. Fuel everything with all the love you have. Then watch your business take off. Watch your vision and your goals come to life when your team and your clients support you with love. Business is love. Let love in. Fuel everything with all the love you have. Ask how you can serve, not what you can get. Create with love and service in mind and let the money chase you. Watch your vision and your goals come to life when you lead with love. When your work is filled with your love. When you love what you do and you do what you love. Know this, understand this, embody this, live by this. It's how you stay true to yourself. It's how you make the impossible possible. It's how you experience authentic success 
and happiness. It's how you live big.